for my actions while I was the governor where I judiciously redistributed land from the rich and gave to the poor and to the veterans of military campaigns I broke the law. I was ordered by Pompey and the Senate to return to Rome without my army and face punishment as a private citizen upon the end of my governorship. I defied those orders and chose instead to cross the Rubicon with my army. This led to the civil war where I then fought against my once close ally Pompey. In the past I was an ally with and even looked up to Pompey as he was once to me a great Roman statesman. However, I do now believe that when I entered into the first triumvirate Pompey and Crassus were using my popularity among the people of Rome for their own selfish gains. Pompey then further disgraced me after my daughter Julia his wife died and he refused to marry another one of my relatives to instead ally himself with Scipio. Pompey additionally passed certain laws that would inhibit my ability to transfer from consul to proconsul and took control of the Senate and became essentially the leading man of Rome while attempting to bend me to his own will. Pompey had become arrogant thinking that he knew how to handle all of this power but the truth is that without me Rome was weaker. Pompey knew of my popularity and knew that it threatened his already questionable rule. When I was ordered back to Rome without my legions it was surely so that Pompey could dispose of me. I would not allow this and that is why I crossed the Rubicon to remove Pompey and strengthen Rome myself. The civil war that followed the crossing of the Rubicon could have been avoided if Pompey was willing to compromise. However, he did not compromise. Pompey was arrogant. I then took my few legions and fought Pompey in battle after battle. I took over Italy and forced Pompey to flee like the coward that he is. I fought his forces in Greece and Spain as well as Macedonia and Africa. Pompey was assassinated on the orders of Ptolemy, I would have rather defeated him in battle and when they brought me his head I was not pleased. However I kept on and fought the forces of Pompey until there was no more. I secured my rightful place as dictator of Rome and in the process I removed a man who was not fit. I did what I had to do to ensure Rome's place in the future. Sometimes those who were once your closest allies can turn into your greatest foes. I did what I had to for the good of Rome and all the Romans people. Pompey did not.